Hey everybody, long time no see. I know it's been a long time since I posted and I actually made a video um, while I was in the middle of one of my walks. You guys probably can't see, but I've been getting some progress in the whole let's get healthy kick that I've been doing and I have um, been fasting again. And I've talked about fasting quite a bit on this channel. I started out fasting when I first started the channel and I just want to revisit some things that I've talked about because I've kind of gone back and forth about it and I've always said that I totally and firmly believe in fasting but it was about finding my groove but it was also about my mindset so that's what I want to talk about today so I started the my my whole um weight loss in late august i believe i think it was like the very i know it was like the last week of august and i was all hyped up and all motivated and all excited and i'm known for that i get really excited and i was ex super excited i was determined i was all of these things and since then, I've learned a lot of lessons. So first of all, you can have all the motivation in the world, but motivation wanes. It is without a doubt truth. It wanes. And so when I did, when I did a fast for seven days, here's a really good example. And I cringe to think where I might be in my weight loss journey. And I, I don't necessarily like to use that term because I feel like I want to stay with a nice um, a nice routine for keeping my keeping maintaining uh, a healthy weight and a healthy lifestyle. So transitioning my lifestyle and changing my lifestyle to one that fuels my body and does my body good when i first transitioned into this i was all motivated all hyped up i did my seven i did a literal seven day fast and in seven days of fasting you can lose a lot of weight a lot of it might be water but you can lose fat as well and it should have been a jump start for tremendous weight loss by now like i said i i started at the end of august so it's been literally to September to the end of October. It's been two months, a little over two months. And I, I, I have to be honest, I haven't lost that much weight considering the fast. Now, I have lost a substantial amount of weight in literally the last three weeks because something changed. And you know what that was? It was my mindset. My mindset has so much to do with it. It has so much to do with everyone's weight loss and when I when I initially lost 140 pounds my mind was all the way there I wanted it so bad that I found discipline that is the word of the day everybody discipline I'm gonna be talking about that a lot I talk I, I started talking about it a little bit on my Instagram and if you guys aren't following me on, on Instagram I and you are on a weight loss journey I encourage you to do that because most mornings well yeah, it's just something I just started, but in the morning, I like to go on Instagram and just show you guys where I am and try to motivate some people who are still still at home, kind of deciding if they want to get up and go do something, get their exercise on. I want you to decide to do it because you will get results. I have a, a photo that I shared on Instagram as well, and I've been getting mad results it might end up being the thumbnail for this video and it it all changes with your mindset it's all about mindset people tell you that um that fasting is easy and i did want to address that and to be honest with you a long fast like a seven day fast or a 10 day fast and then there are people who do 50 and tons of days of fasting and to be honest they can be a little bit easier per se but it needs explanation so the difference in a long fast and a short fast is this if you are addicted to food in three days 
you will by no means cure that addiction or even be able to break that addiction. First of all, chances are that you can put a dent in that addiction if you go much longer. But there are plenty of people who have done long fast, i.e. me who just did a seven day fast and can go right back to their addiction. And so people will often say that it's easier to do a long fast because as you go longer and longer, you're losing all of this weight. It's it's harder to gain back a ton of weight as opposed to the, what, three or four pounds you might lose on a 72-hour fast. As well as the fact that if you do a 72-hour fast, it is a lot harder to not just go back to eating stuff that... The, the same stuff that helped you put on all the weight. And so if you do a three-day fast and then you eat bad, you gain that weight right back and it, it feels like there was no point. And so I say, I, I say that to bring up the fact that lately I have been doing 72s. And like I said, my mindset has changed. I have found discipline and I've utilize that discipline most with the whole workout thing with getting up in the morning it has been freezing in california i can't tell you why i don't know what's going on it's very suspicious but it's been like freezing outside and i've still been getting to it i've been getting at it and the results are showing like i literally lost like six inches off of my waist and i've just been keeping at my exercise and keeping my um keeping my processed food away i haven't been i've i've literally stopped really buying it for the kids i bought them like some chips the other day and i tried to buy the most helpful option that i could find um i can't think of the name of it if i could i'd mention it here but i've just kind of like kept that out of my face but at the same time I'm not really feeling tempted to be completely honest with you and so I've been doing 72s for about maybe seven to ten days I can't even think of what it is maybe I'll put it in the screen but um it's been doing really well for me. It's really been helping. And I haven't been seeing the number the number on the scale really drop dramatically like I have in the past, which used to be a really big deterrent for me. That would have caused me to say, oh, well, F it. Bump this. Maybe I should go back to eating whatever I want. But the good thing is that I don't really want anything else. And I know I've said that before, and then I've had my addiction come back to bite me. But it, it's different when you find discipline. Discipline is what tells you, okay, well, I kind of do want that. On the days when I feel like, ooh, I would love to eat gummy bears, it's me saying, no, I have a goal and I'm going to work for it. Because discipline is my reminder in my head, hey, you have a goal. Fight for that goal. It's worth it. You wouldn't have the goal if you didn't really, really want it. You wouldn't have that goal. So why have this goal and have the ability to reach the goal and still not do it? Right? There are people who can't get up and go work out. There are people who are so big that they can't get up. So they can't work out. And for those people, obviously, they want to work on their nutrition. But... At the same time, let, let's use the, the abilities that are that we are blessed with. I can get up and go walk, so I'm going to do that. And whatever you need to do and that you have the ability to do and the time to do, I know people have jobs and schedules that don't always fit a morning workout, but if you can fit out, whatever, wherever you can fit that in, you should fit it in because you're worth it. And I just want to give you that reminder. But I also want to give you the reminder that discipline is what helps you win. I know it rhymes, but it, it's it's a way to remember it. Discipline is how you win. And mindset helps you find discipline. When you start to use your mind to look at to look at everything as a problem that you need to solve. 
I'm having trouble getting up in the morning and going to do my workout. Even though that's the best time of the day, I do have the time in the morning, but I'm not able to do it. Have the discipline and have the mindset to problem solve that situation. Would it help if your workout clothes were right there? Whatever it takes, like problem solve the situation. Why is it so difficult for me to get up and do what I have to do to reach my goal? And this works in all different types of areas, in all different types of goals that you might have. Maybe you have a professional goal. Maybe you have a goal that you want to finish your degree. Maybe you have a goal that you want to buy a new car because your your the car you currently have is on its last leg. You might want to start budgeting. Start looking at issues that impede your goals. The roadblocks that are in the way of reaching your goal, start looking at those as problems and start putting yourself in a place where you look you look to solve the problems. Solve what's standing in your way. Because I have such a desire to be able to help people. Obviously, I'm using I'm using my experience to help myself right now, but I want to help other people and I want to inspire other people, but I want to help people in a general sense as far as leveling up your life. And any win that you can have, any goal that you can reach, I promise you, it will give you so much more confidence to reach for other goals. So it doesn't have to be weight loss. And I'm not here to tell you that if you lose weight, your life is going to completely change or it's going to stop you from being depressed. I don't like it when people give those kind of false ideas to people or false hopes. But I do want to encourage you guys to see that a win in life It's just that. It's a win in life and it gives you confidence. It builds your confidence. It builds your determination to fight for the things you want in life. Once you see that you have it in you to do what you have to do to make shit happen, then you'll start to make shit happen in other areas of your life. For me, it was weight loss. For me, again, it is weight loss. And then I've also been educating myself and developing myself, which is another good thing to do. Invest in you. If you have the money to invest in a class here or there to learn something new that will add to your resume, add to your value, do that. Invest in you, be disciplined, work for your goals, and have a problem-solving mindset. There's, There's things standing in everyone's way of their goals, but Plenty of people find a way around those and you can too. So that's what I, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So if you're, if you are stuck right now, use some of these things that that I'm using that are helping me. You guys are going to see my photo, see the, the, um, immense, immense progress that I've been making And you guys are going to see that you can do it too. I want you to be empowered that you can do it too. And I want you to revisit fasting. Revisit it because fasting helps. Fasting helps so much with your like mindset as well. It gives you a lot of clarity. Well, ketosis in particular is very good for the brain. And fasting is a way to get into ketosis and not have to look at macros or... At the end of the day, if you're if you're on the if you're on the fence about fasting, then get off the fence and get on board because fasting works. And like I said, I've been doing 72s and I'm going to con- continue to do 72s. I might bump it up and do a 7 pretty soon here maybe for November to kind of kick it off. I'm not sure yet, but I just finished out a 72 yesterday and had a meal. I got fast I got full pretty fast. But um but I did just finish out a 72 and I'm back in another one. And I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that fasting works. Changing your mindset works. Discipline makes you 
win. And I'll talk to you guys next time.